What's up, YouTube? I'm gonna sing this entrance now. <laughs> hey, how we doing? I apologize. I'm getting this video up a very uh, a day late. I was actually quite busy. Had a, a cousin's birthday. Follow N dot Culture on Instagram um, yesterday, so I wasn't able to do a recording. Uh, so the last two days been quite busy, uh, and yeah, I've, I've actually been hitting the gym a lot more. Uh, just trying to get the the body healthy. Um, I'm down seven kilos, not to brag, but feeling good. Feeling the body's feeling great. The channel's going great. Ratings are going great. Everything's just going great at the moment. So I appreciate you all being here again. I apologize. This is coming out one bit day later. Just been a little bit busy. <coughs> you know how we do. Again, appreciate you all being here. Uh, you guys are making my channel a lot of. Uh, since the last week a lot of growth has happened in the discord on YouTube and all that kind of stuff So I really appreciate it. again if you like these kind of videos hit that like hit that subscribe Share all that kind of jazz But I'll be keep doing this anyway if you get uh, also if you guys want to see something different uh, Drop a comment down below and I can do some recordings for you. I still get I'm gonna try that Nissan wearing trap apparatus very soon Hopefully soon. I just need a little bit more uh, soul ash after I uh, fix up my other legendaries because I've had to recreate them. <coughs> anyway, this week we have a tyrannical. Tyrannical bosses have up to it's thirty percent from forty percent. So this hasn't actually changed. Uh, so bosses only have thirty percent more health, um, and the bosses and minions that they spawn inflict fifteen percent increased damage. So previously. Um, you take a break on a tyrannical week, you just like sort of chill and just do nothing. But now bosses only have 30% more health, which is a little bit more manageable. So, you know, kind of, kind of sort of is a little, kind of sort of is a push week, a little bit. Um, the next one, we'll go to the next one, is bursting. Bursting when a not, when a slain non boss enemy, they explode and suffer. Uh, well, they do an explosion and everybody takes ticking damage over four seconds. If multiple mobs burst at the same time, they will receive a stacking ticking damage. So you kill one mob, you kill a second mob, you get two stacks. Kill a third mob before the timer runs out, you get a third stack. So, yeah, um, because it's not a fortified week, uh, trash mobs are going to be dying relatively quickly. Uh, if you have a monk, uh, they're really good because they, um, every every three minutes you can do this huge big pull get up to like eight nine ten stacks and they just hit um, revival and all the stacks go away so uh, monks are pretty good for this week uh, and also they're dispellable so uh, priests are really good because they can do the master spell as well I think I think that counts as a master spell but priests are really good so that's bursting next one my pain in the ass explosive while in combat Enemies will uh, summon an explosive ward, or uh, and if they're not killed, they do 40% targets health to enemies in a 60 yard radius. So these little red, little red orbs that pop up, you just one tap them with a serpent sting, one tap them with um, a kill command. Um, it's really good, really good. Um, it's just annoying because they just pop up and they, and you stop it. It's usually a tank mechanic. But because they only have 100 health now, anyone can do it. So anyone should be actually hitting those orbs. Um, and of course, the last so one, Prideful. Every 20% uh, spawns a Prideful ad. You get an increased haste, increased damage, increased crit, uh, and increased mana regen. Um, well, 100% mana regen. So that's every 20%. So we're talking about how we're playing this week. So this is, like, like I mentioned before, it's relatively a push week, in, in a sense. Uh, explosive and bursting is really, really easy. Really, really easy. This is like, you don't have to think about it at all. Um, the trash mobs aren't going to hit harder. Um, you're still going to use all your cooldowns on cooldown um, when it comes to trash packs. Um, and, and then you also, depending on what dungeon you're in, you also want to try and time so you you have your coordinated assault. And if you're uh, Night Fae, your Wild Spirits are either on pull or during the pull. You don't want it without the pull. You, you need it up like early on. Uh, and then you also have to play 
around prideful so your tank needs to know the route uh where they can really use the prideful right before every single boss so it's really a a tank planning week uh, mostly um, and then of course you're just gonna have to like figure out where you're gonna um, not burst so much damage um, we're going standard again this is this is the pretty much mythic plus week the only thing that you would probably change if if you sim mongoose by better then um tip of the spear you can run mongoose bite i actually sim higher with mongoose bite now um the only reason why i would possibly bring this over tip of the spear um is because you want like boss damage and mongoose bite does a lot a lot of damage the only reason why you i probably won't bring it is because most of the fights are generally trash packs and tip of the spear scales better in the overall dungeon um so if you don't have like a fire mage or if you don't have a marksman hunter or you don't have a, a unholy death knight that does insane burst damage like single target damage if you're the one that needs to do the single target damage then you would switch over to mongoose bite and you play around mongoose bite um th the only other thing uh that i want to mention is if you are level 31 renowned with Cory uh, Night Fae. Night Fae have an insane, an insane last row talent. Is that what we call last row talent in the Soulbind? Called First Strike. When you damage an enemy before they damage you, you get 25% increased critical strike for 5 seconds. So it's like, so what you can do is... Um, it's really hard for a survivor because you're throwing your bombs your bombs actually once they hit everyone then the uh the stack refreshes of the 25 percent but if you sort of like it's really hard but what you can do is you can say you hit that so you can have the 25 percent increase there and then you can refresh it on this target on the second target if, if, if the targets are generally far away from each other you can sort of stack that so you get 25 percent increased critical strike for 10 seconds um but generally it's it's a bit hard uh to do that in a mythic plus kind of because you're going to be generally pulling because when you wildfire bomb if your wildfire bomb hits the first target and the second target it'll hit five uh 25 increase for five seconds once the second tick hit or once the second uh mob gets hit with your wildfire cluster or the ticking damage of the wildfire bomb then it's going to reset it's going to put that the extra time so you get one second so it's generally in aoe pack depends on how long the cluster hits it's five seconds to six seconds of increased critical strike damage so our burst is actually in aoe insane <clears throat> you uh, let me get my pen out you coordinate assault you wild so what you do is you actually wild spirits first because when you wild spirits first it procs first strike then when you proc first strike you bomb off then serpent sting and bomb why because you get 25 percent increase on cluster you get 25 percent increase on the dot damage so in your wild in your wildfire um windows you want to double bomb you really want to double bomb you can you can generally wild spirits bomb carve bomb but don't waste don't wait if you have two bombs do that if you don't have double bomb then you bomb carve and then wait or you go through your kill command but generally if you have uh wild spirits up and you have double bomb you go wild spirits bomb carve bomb and then you go into your rotation that just makes the most of your wildfire cluster doing getting the extra critical strike chance if you get what i mean so enjoy it's uh, generally a push week uh i actually timed a 17 this week on tyrannical so it's not too bad it is necrotic wake um and it did get nerfed a little bit but it doesn't really matter right <laughs> i still timed it <laughs> um but yeah appreciate your again i apologize this is coming out a day later um again if you like subscribe do all that kind of jazz blessed to have you all here i'll see you guys soon